Lately, things have been off. I think everyone's kind of going through it, but usually I'm able to keep myself in a sense of brightness, lightness, um, just being able to achieve whatever it is that I want. But I've been so consumed in worry and fear that I realize that I may have even attracted these things. Let's get to it. Love you guys. Thanks for joining. What is going on, fam? Oh my gosh, like honestly, my back is killing me today. I saw three clients and one of them was for an hour and a half, another one was for two hours, one of them was for an hour. And I'm getting spasms in my back right now. I need a massage, okay? The missus needs a massage. <laughs> but um, all of the fun laughter and all this crap aside, why did someone try to break into my house yesterday? Can you please tell me that? Broad daylight, okay? They came through my garage and they tried to bust open my um, garage door. Like, what? Like, what the heck? Like, why would you want to sit for I don't have anything major, okay? I keep things simple. The only thing I have too much of is too much clothing that I need to reduce for me, Shia Kai, and Matea. But other than that, like, I don't have anything of major, major, like, value just sit around, sitting around that you'll, like, be like, oh, that's great. I'm going to grab that. You know what I mean? So I don't know what they were thinking. But I do have to call the police and file a report. And I've never called the police before. And I've never filed a report before. So low key nervous. I don't know if it's because I grew up in the projects, you know, Lawrence and Galloway or whatever, you know. So I'm just a little nervous about calling the police when I need stuff. But I'm like completely legit. I don't like break any rules. I'm like a goody goody tissues. Like I I don't know why I'm feeling nervous, but I just am. But I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do what I need to do, file the report, and then after um, they're gonna fix the door for me, but they want me to file the report first, I guess just in case something happens again. But like, can you believe that? Like that was broad daylight. And honestly, I think my car was in the driveway. I literally think my car was in the driveway. So which thief is gonna wanna steal when people are home? Like, you know somebody's home. That doesn't make any sense. So the question is, did they wanna steal? Or did they want to do something else? I don't even know. I'm not trying to think about it too much because then I start getting worried and stuff. So yeah, but that that's that's um that's what what's going on over here right now. <laughs> I gotta deal with calling the popo. Yeah, that's what's going on right about now, and I'm gonna show you the door. So as you can see, like here is like loose because they were like trying to push it open. And all I have to say is thank you, dear Lord, for these tiny screws because you made them so freaking strong. You who would not think this little small inches of screws could um, keep a door intact, okay? And then look. I'm hoping you're not seeing the garage too much, but look at that. They like bust open all of this like this. That part. You know, it obviously didn't come out. So that's what kept the door intact there. But then when the kids were looking at what happened, then Kai Kai made it fall out. But no big deal. It's got to get replaced anyways. But yeah, like, can you believe that? Sometimes you just wish like you knew who did the crime. So like you wouldn't be like, oh my gosh, who, who is it? Where did they come from? What did they want to do? Like, you know what I mean? Your head just goes all over the place. But Whatever, I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy, but I do have to be thankful. At least it's got me thinking about something else, you know? Which is fantastic. Be like, have you ever called them before? Do you know what they're gonna ask? Never. You never called the cops before either? No, no. <laughs> me personally, no. Never had a reason to. Um, no, like, dealt, dealt with a lot of um, car incidents and stuff like that. Mm. <laughs> but. <laughs> 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 Never actually had to call them personally. After being on hold for 45 minutes, I gave up. Good morning. Good morning. I didn't get in touch with the police yesterday because I just did not have the patience to stay on hold for any longer than 45 minutes. I broke the calls down into two and neither of them were answered. So I'm gonna try again today. I'm gonna just tidy up around the house and call them on speakerphone um, while I do that, just so I can kind of 
get it done, but without having to just hold the phone by my ear. So that is the plan for today. But honestly, um, I know I'm smiling and I have all this positivity, but this has been a week that has been trying. Like you guys already know that this was the week of the snowstorm. So that was already a big thing for us to go through slash have fun with because of tobogganing. But um, I ended up getting an accident. Like I dropped shy at Kai and um, their friend to school and that was fine. But when I was going to drop Matea to school, I ended up um, rear ending somebody. They said that they slammed on the brakes because the person in front of them slammed on their brakes. And then when I slammed on my brakes, I don't know, it just didn't stop right away. I don't know if because of the snowstorm, the roads were still, you know, a little sleek, but um, yeah, I ended up mashing up the whole front of my car and um, their car visibly doesn't have any damages, but um, who knows, you know? So I gotta go report it. I don't have a car to do that. And um, yeah, it's just like really stressful. You know, this week has been really trying. Like the only thing I can say that is good about it is that like every single day I was just obsessed about, you know, C19. It does say C19. And like whether or not I should give it to the kids, you know, whether or not it's safe, just doing all of my research, you know. And um, because of these two back-to-back -back incidents, it's gotten me to just think about like what's really at hand, like what's really in front of me as opposed to what could happen or what they speculate could happen, you know? It's just gotten me focused on truly what's really, truly in front of me. So at least it snapped me out of that um, hypnosis of worry, you know, and fear. So I'm thankful for that. But um, yeah, it's just not pretty, you know? And it's just not fun, but whatever. I'm alive. Matea's alive. The car might be mashed up, but, you know, it's still driving. It could still drive. Just needs fixing. I'll show you that a little later. But, um, yeah, let me get to cleaning and cooking. the police actually didn't come they just called so they didn't actually get to see um, what happened to my car like the other accident that I got in so basically um he was just asked me all these questions he ended up doing the report online and that was about it so I was just overthinking things for nothing because they just wanted me to reiterate what happened and that was that and they never showed up so blessings upon blessings but let me show you my car not feeling so blessings upon blessings. But you know what, I was, when I was cleaning the kitchen and just having that moment of quietness and just reflection, it made me realize um, why this may um, have happened. Not like completely, but it's like my energy right now is so off where I'm worried and I'm scared about life. So I guess the universe is just giving me something to be worried and scared about, you know? So I'm gonna officially um, drop that. I'm gonna ch start changing my beliefs, get back into, the way that I was before because this just isn't serving me anymore. So this is what has happened. So much stuff. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful blessed day and I hope your week goes better than mine did.